Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be learning how to do ombre on gel X. Um, this is my method on how I do ombre on gel X. I used to use powder, but I like the way this blends better and I want to share with you guys because I know a lot of you guys have been asking me, um, is it possible? Is there a way to do it? Yes, there is a way. But in this first clip, I'm just showing you that I'm putting on the nails. Um, nothing too special. If you want to learn how to how I do prep and put my gel X on um, just watch my previous videos I do it the same every single time so um, stay tuned for the how-to part I just really want to focus on how to um, do the ombre for you guys All right, so now I'm going to go in with my base color. So I'm going to do one coat of I Couldn't Bear Less by OPI. And then we're going to cure that for 60 seconds into the light. Now, of course, you can do any base color that you would like. You can do nude, pink, blue, green, whatever works for you. Um, you just need two colors that you want as the ombre, just like with any other ombre that you would do. Now for the top coat, not top coat, I'm sorry, for the second coat, I'm using Put It In Neutral by OPI. I wanted to match the color on my right hand as much as possible, and I think I did a pretty good job. The um, set on my right hand is acrylic. I did do um, 
Bear Me by Valentino Acrylic. And then I put Put It In Neutral on top. So it looked very similar. And both my sets are not going to be exactly the same. Um, <laughs> it's just a little different. But I like to just kind of make it coordinate a little bit. But yeah, so I'm going in with that. And I'm going to cure for 60 seconds as well. All right, so now here I am taking my lint-free wipe and I'm wiping off that sticky layer with acetone. Um, this step is not necessary because it works fine, but I knew that I was going to get lint in my nails when I did this process by putting my color in, so yeah. But who remembers airbrush? I'm going to link this down below. I don't know what happened to the back piece of the airbrush, but this is what you're going to need. Also, you're going to need a dapping dish and your color of choice and some acetone. So I am using this color. Um, it's a highlighter yellow. I can't really tell what number it is, but I'm going to link it down below for you guys. And I'm going to do two drops of this. And then I'm also going to do two drops of white. Now, the ratio that I like is like two to one um, with polish and acetone. And I'm using gel polish, by the way. Um, just because I kind of want it a little bit pigmented. So I'm just going to do like, well, it's kind of hard to measure with acetone. So I just put like a little bit and then I'm going to take a brush and swirl it around. You kind of want the liquid to be somewhat pigmented. You don't want too much acetone because then the color won't pick up. But you're just going to mix this. Um, make sure you get all that color at the bottom. And then I'm going to pour it into our airbrush machine like so just open the top pour it right on in and then close the top so that you don't have any spillage because you're going to be moving the airbrush machine around So you're going to turn on with the bottom button. Now before I spray it on my nails, I make sure I spray it on a piece of paper to make sure the color looks good. And then we're just going to lightly, you want to hold it about an inch, two inch away from the nails, maybe like an inch and a half. And just spray, start from the bottom and lightly go up. I like to do one coat first, cure it in the light for 60 seconds, and then go back in and do another coat. Um, so here you're going to see me wipe it off because I guess I still had some color from my previous ombre in there. It was like a blue color. So yeah, or purple, I mean, and it was like spraying black specks on my nails and I didn't like that. So I tried the best I could, but make sure after each use you do clean it. I like to just put acetone in there and, um, just spray it out and just make sure it's clean. You can also unscrew the tip of the airbrush machine and kind of like wipe it off um but the instruction it does come with instructions on how to clean it when you do purchase it i think they said a little bit of windex and water works as well you know back in the day that's how they did it um but i just feel like acetone worked well for me but i do use windex sometimes so okay so after i cured i'm just gonna make well actually don't cure it yet you want to clean up around the nail um, just because it is gel polish, so once you put it in the light and it cures, it's going to be really hard to take it off your skin. Trust me, I have learned from my own mistakes. Like, the first time I did this, girl, it was a hot mess. So yeah, just take a little cleaning French brush, some acetone, and just clean around the finger. And make sure it's nice and clean, just to save yourself the stress at the end. I promise you guys.
Now we're going to go in with the second layer just to make it a little bit more pigmented. Now you can choose how pigmented you want it or how many layers you want to do. I just wanted to do two layers just so you can see the color a little bit. And the color is looking so cute. It's like a little pastel lime green type of color, yellowish green. But it's so cute for the springtime kind of summery. But yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys, for the ombre. Um, super simple, but it does take a little bit of you getting used to when you first spray it. But it's super simple. Um, I recommend this for sure. You're gonna cure it after this layer as well, and then top coat. Do your design, whatever. I do. If you do design, I do recommend you put top coat or base coat first, just so like if you mess up the design, and you like need to wipe it off, you don't accidentally wipe off the ombre. You know. Just, anything can happen but yeah just that's pretty simple and um you can do any color you want any gel polish you have and this literally made my life so much easier i used to do powder ombre on top of gelix and it was cute but sometimes the blend wouldn't you know blend as well or like the color could be too dark and the blend was just not as smooth as i would like it so when like this airbrush machine came back in style girl i was like yes save me so much time and struggle So here I'm just trying to make my design kind of look like my other hand. Um, super cute. I love it. Super simple flowers. Five dots. Pull it in. And there you go.
Alrighty guys, I hope you guys love this tutorial. I love helping you guys. If you did like it, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notifications to know when I post next. I'm trying to post Monday through Friday every day for you guys. Um, it's been hard, but I'm doing it and it's fun. I love hearing your feedback. But yeah guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!